What's up guys, it's Matwire back here with another video and today I'm gonna to be doing an install on the interior of my BMW F33. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video or it helps you out in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so what I went ahead and did was ordered a steering wheel cover. Um, I got this from Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description if you guys would like to pick one up yourself. So primarily my main reason in getting this steering wheel cover is because I already have an M Sport steering wheel, but I wanted it to look uh, more sporty, more custom looking. And me personally, I don't have five, six hundred dollars to spend on getting a brand new steering wheel custom made. So why not just throw a cover on top of the steering wheel I already have since it's already an M Sport steering wheel. All right, so a little bit about the steering wheel cover. Uh, so this is it. Obviously, it's not gonna look <laughs> like a steering wheel until you get it on there. But as you can see, it's made of really nice uh, leather-like material. Um, as you can see on the sides where you're gonna be gripping it, it uh, has like some perforated leather material, which I think is really nice, nice touch. Um, I also went with the one that had the stripe, red stripe at the top, just cause my interior is red. I think it's gonna look really clean um, when it's installed with uh, just the red stripe at the top. Comes with your thread that you're gonna need to stitch it together. Comes with blue and red, you know, the M Sport colors. Comes with this little tool to help you uh, tuck it in the steering wheel. Comes with some blades and some double-sided tape. Lastly, it comes with some installation uh, instructions. Now, I'm not gonna lie, these instructions aren't too, I guess you could say, informative. Unless you kinda know what you're doing, uh, it would be very hard. So uh, that's what I'm here for today, to show you guys what you're doing. So now that you guys know what it comes with, uh, let's go ahead and head out to the vehicle and get started. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and fit the steering wheel cover around the steering wheel um, and get it in position. Another option you guys have, you can uninstall your steering wheel, you know, completely take it off and then stitch on the cover that way. Um, but me, I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna take off my steering wheel. I'm just gonna try to fit this on there while it's in the vehicle, still installed, and then try to stitch it while it's on there. So obviously the part with the red stripe is gonna go at the top of the steering wheel and then these little cutouts are gonna go towards the side where your buttons are. All right guys, so I went ahead and moved into the garage because it's super hot outside. Um, but once you get it test fit on there and it looks pretty good, everything's lined up. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do next is apply the tape to um, the inside edges. So I'll go ahead and do a few just so I can show you guys and then I'll go ahead and do the rest. All right, so you kind of want it to look something like this. Uh, you do want to leave a little bit of space in between the stitching and the actual uh, cover. Um, just so that way when you're trying to stitch, it actually has room to come together and it won't be stuck. So make sure you leave a little bit of room, um, but you're pretty much going to do that all the way around and on the back side as well. And when it comes time, if necessary, go ahead and start your car, obviously, so you can turn your steering wheel upside down um, so it's easier to access this portion. Alright guys, so this is pretty much what you're going for. Um, you want to just make sure that you have all the tape and all these little empty areas right next to um, where the thread's going to be. Just so that way you can un take this backing off and then stick it down so it stays in place as you're sewing. Um, I will probably end up doing some um, on these little areas right here too, but first I wanted to make sure that they tuck in to this trim properly before I put any tape on them. Um, up here, I probably will end up cutting this area because if not it'll be the cover on top of this which i don't want i want that this plastic trim showing so what i'll probably do is end up cutting right here and then tucking both sides in the trim on both sides of the steering wheel so that way this part will be showing um because i don't i don't it looks kind of tacky uh with that hanging on right there but more to come on that when i get to that area so once you get to this point pretty much just start peeling back all the tape um, and then sticking it to the steering wheel if everything lines up good and then I'll show you guys the next step after that When you're done peeling it back, it should look something like that, you know, just the clear tape and so just stick it On to where it's gonna be and see how it doesn't really line up You want to make sure when they meet together they line up with the old seam. So I'll probably end up taking that off And then It'll come off and then kind of, and as you can see, you don't want to really take it on and off too many times because uh, 
the adhesive won't really be good afterwards but as you can see right here now it lines up a lot better in the middle so once you get everything taped down pretty good and everything is somewhat where it needs to be then you're going to start tucking this material behind the trim and how i've been doing that is you're just going to try to line up the trim and then you're literally just going to take this little tool that's provided and you're going to go like that underneath the trim and underneath i'm sorry underneath the trim above the material and um literally just going to tuck it in like that it can be a pain um, especially on the back side so what I'm gonna do for the back side is I'm gonna come over to this side where I have more room open up my door and then just get it from this side from the back um, but once I'm done doing that I'll get back with you guys alright guys so it was kinda difficult tucking in the excess material um, just for the simple fact that it wasn't stitched so what I went ahead and did is, is did one little area um, and it does tuck in a lot better so if it looks a little uh, baggy and loose like this um, don't worry once you stitch everything together make everything nice and tight it will all come together like so so now that I've already stitched one side I'm gonna go ahead and do this side, I'm gonna sh and I'm gonna show you guys how I did this side. so obviously you're gonna want to get your needle and some thread as far as the length of the thread I would say make it um, a decent amount they give you a pretty generous amount on this rule so I would just eyeball it but um, get, a, get a decent amount and remember it's gonna go through your needle and be like that on both sides so you want to make sure it's pretty long so then once you have your desired amount of string you just go ahead and cut it obviously you're obviously gonna want to thread the needle so put it through this little eye you might have to lick it you know the drill as you can see this is pretty long um, I, I would say this is probably more than what I need but like I said they give you a generous amount so I'd rather be safe than sorry you know I'd rather have too much string than um, start sewing and then end up finding out that I have you know not enough string because then you have to take out everything and then redo it once you get both ends pretty even you're just gonna tie a little knot in the back or at the end I should say so once you have a knot in your string it should look something like that it's kinda hard to see but I went ahead and double knotted mine just in case so it's gonna be really hard to show you guys but to start what you're going to want to do is you see where it begins right here where this knot is made already you're gonna put it through this pre-existing hole in the back side of the leather material so let me go ahead and do that so it should look something like this um, you can obviously trim the excess string and then kind of singe it with a flame is what I usually do and then once it's through that way the reason why you want to go through the back is so it looks clean on the other side so once you do that you want to come on this side go underneath the first stitch since you just went through the first stitch on the other side you always want to make sure uh, the stitches are lining up so once you have that one you're ready to just start stitching once you go through the leather on one side come back out you're gonna come over and under the first little blue one right there as I already did you're gonna come out you're gonna go underneath the back side red one right here and then you're gonna keep continuing in a, in a pattern like so. So since we went through this first section right here, we're gonna skip this next one and then go with, this will be the next stitch right here and then go with this one right here. So we're gonna go underneath this one. And then pull that through. And then same with this one, you're gonna skip this stitch right here and go with this one up here and you're just going to continue that pattern all the way up the steering wheel don't worry about any of this like excess material in here you can see that sticking up all that is going to get tucked in to the trim as you can see if you continue on with that skipping a stitch uh, pattern all the way up it'll kind of look like an X just like this and that's what you're looking for and you want to make sure each stitch is lined up with the corresponding stitch on the other side um, just so that way you know these seams right here will line up together and just everything else will come together um, at the same time because if you miss one then uh, it won't 
end up matching up at the end. So now that I'm done with both these down here, I'm gonna start on this big portion up here. And just like I had explained before, just start the needle at the first stitch and then just continue all the way doing that crisscross, skipping a stitch as you go all the way until you get to the end. And then uh, I'll show you guys an update of when it's done. I guess as you can see, I finished up stitching the top portion of it and tucking everything in front and back side. Um, on the bottom here, I did end up cutting the material so that way this um, plastic trim piece is exposed. I think it looks a lot better that way. I just think it looked a little tacky with the leather running right underneath here and you can see the separation from the plastic to the leather it just looked real tacky to me so I just went ahead and cut it and tucked it on both sides cut it all the way around let me go ahead and spin my wheel around so you guys can see the top portion and so as you can see the top portion is still that trim the original trim piece and it just looks a whole lot better that way in my opinion so now that it's finished let me go ahead and give you guys a little cinematic So as you guys just saw, the steering wheel looks a whole lot better in my opinion. I'm super happy um, with the install. It, it turned out great. Um, and once again, for those of you that don't have six, seven hundred dollars to spend on a brand new custom steering wheel, this is definitely the mod for you. If any of you guys want to go ahead and pick one up for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. I got this one on Amazon for less than forty dollars. And um, like I said, it does take some time, some patience to to do the install. It probably took me about three and a half four hours um but if you just take your time do it right you'll be in love with the results just like i am and just like that that wraps up today's video if you liked it go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing and just like that i will catch you guys in the next video peace